absolutely good day to everybody. It's February 27, 2024 in the beautiful Big Bear Lake area. This is the aftermath of the little storm that just came through. Just want you guys to see what the town looks like after the storm because I know a lot of you, uh, you know, always expect to see a little bit more snow or something like that when you come up here after storms. So I just want you to see what the roads look like, what everything looks like. And uh, yeah, enjoy, enjoy the cruise. We are gonna do the lake journey today. And if I can remember on the North Shore, I'm gonna take a little bit of a shortcut and drive down one of the streets that goes through the Serrano campground area. And the uh, there's a nice trailer park right there as well. I've, I've been getting that request a lot. And uh, if my dumb brain doesn't, <laughs> doesn't forget to do that when we're over there, I'm gonna do it. And also, don't forget you guys, if you guys wanna help support this channel, help support me and the growth on this channel, go to bigbearweatherandmore.com and check out some of the merchandise there. I think you guys will be very, very impressed. And uh, that is one way to help out. And if you wanna help out in, in other ways, in the description of every video, if you scroll down, there is an area that tells you how you can help. So thank you very, very much, you guys. And for your ski and snowboard rental needs, and even if you wanna buy new stuff, you guys, we're coming up to Get Boards. Get Boards is, guys, as far as I'm concerned, by far the best shop up here for your ski and snowboard rentals and even purchasing new stuff. Um, they are extremely knowledgeable. They care so much about the tourists, you guys. That's the customer service is what really, really, really drew me to them. Um, they really care about you guys, and that's very important to me. Those are the only people I want to associate with are the ones who uh, who put you first in every single way. So they have two shops for the wintertime activities and they are both one block and two blocks away from our Big Bear Village. Both of them on Big Bear Boulevard, we're about to pass both of them. One of them is a ride shop, the other is a ski shop. Go in there, get your skis, and get your ski and snowboard rentals. Again, you guys, I promise you, you're gonna have a great experience. They're wonderful people over there. Best prices up here, super high quality product. It's a win-win all around. So we're about to pass. The first shop right here, this is the ski shop right on the corner, Get Boards Rentals. And then we'll talk about the smoke shop right there in just a second. But here is Get Boards, the snowboard ride shop right there, right on that corner. And look, we're at Big Bear Village right here. So it's really, really, really close. If you bring your own equipment in, your own skis and snowboards, if you mention that your friends of this channel, they will wax your skis and snowboards for free, you guys. And I'm telling you, those of you who enjoy skiing, enjoy snowboarding, know how much wax makes a huge, huge difference to get a nice fresh wax on your boards or skis. Um, it's a $25 value. Some places charge up to $40 for it. Um, as I said, if you mention you're a friend of the channel, they will take care of you for free. Um, yeah, and one more thing about Get Boards, you guys. If you wanna save money on your lift tickets, if you go to getboards.com and order your tickets 72 hours in advance from when you actually plan on going, um, you'll save a lot of money um, going through getboards.com. Instead of going to, to the ticket window at Summit or Bear or Snow Valley the day of your skiing or snowboarding, buy your ticket 72 hours online at getboards.com and you'll save some money. Again, I'm just trying to help you guys, man. Just trying to help you guys. And as I said, I like representing the good good people up here who care about you guys a lot, which is why also Big Bear Smoke and Vape. I know not a lot of you probably smoke and vape and this and that, but the owner's an amazing guy. He made me feel like I was right at home up here. Um, they've, they've got competitive prices competing with folks down the mountain when up here usually you're gonna pay an incredible premium for everything. So he takes care of you guys too. He's another person who really realizes that without the tourist, we don't have we don't have a town. And he's thankful for that. And I appreciate him for being so absolutely good to me. He's got some local trinkets and stuff too. They've got two shops. One right across from the Get Boards Ride Shop. And then they have another one in Big Bear City. Both of them on Big Bear Boulevard. All the shops I'm talking about, 
right now from Get Boards to the Big Bear Smoke and Vape people. They're all on Big Bear Boulevard. Um, so yeah, guys, support the good people. Support the people that care about you guys and that are trying to make a difference up here. That's what I'm always going for. Again, and none, 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 none of these people pay me or, or you know, do anything like that. I'm doing it because I want to make sure that through what I do, I can give you guys the best experience possible. It's so important to me. It's so important to me. Um, I want you guys to be stoked when you come up here. I used to love coming up here to visit. I used to love it. I would look forward to it for, gosh, months at a time. And then once I would get here, it would be over way too fast. But yeah, Big Bear Smoke and Vape. I have all their, their information in the description of the videos as well. Um, and if you, if you tell them that I sent you, the owner Sahil will definitely take care of you guys as well. And as I said, it's not just smoke and vape stuff. It's, that's what it mostly is, but I mean, they have little trinkets and stuff like that and uh, just just you know a cool place to show some support and show some love I like them a lot but yeah we're on Big Bear Boulevard we're heading into the snowiest part of Big Bear Valley right now the snowstorm has ended and it wasn't much of a snowstorm it was it was it was a rainstorm to be quite honest I mean, we got a little lake building up up here in this higher little portion which is kind of cool looking temperature wow temperature jumped up to 50 degrees we do have potentially something pretty good coming in around the first the evening of the first is when it could begin maybe one to three inches of snow and then the second of March um, throughout the whole day we could see up to five to six inches of snow if everything works out. It looks like part of the storm has dropped off. Um, the forecast changed quite a bit, so it doesn't look like it's, it's gonna be as much of a storm as originally uh, forecast, which is, again, kind of a bummer because we are getting towards the end of our ski season. And, uh, you know, I'd like it to end with quite a bang so you guys can all take time off work and come up here and really have a great time with fresh amazing new snow that's boulder bay park gosh it's so gorgeous it's such a beautiful place you guys my goodness there's so much beauty up here there's so much beauty up here another reason i love doing these videos is so i can share it with 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 you all and and the aesthetics and the cosmetics of this place change so often when we get colder temperatures everything looks looks different when you know when we get an arctic blast like everything will be frozen and just everything feels a lot different when we get snow the town looks like you you're in a, a completely different place there's just so much wonderful stuff about this little town up here and it's not far from most of you guys either Give, your, give yourselves a break. Come up here. Have a great time. Don't forget, you can always contact me. Send, send, send me emails and ask me any questions you want. I definitely want to absolutely be here for you all. The best that I can. Um, a, a big warning is watch out for these potholes, you guys, on Big Bear Boulevard. They are out of control. Not quite as bad as they were last, last season, but uh, it's... This is probably the second worst season I've seen, and it happens to be back-to-back -back seasons that it's been horrifyingly bad. I mean, they are bad enough to cause some serious damage to your guys' vehicles, so don't take it lightly. We're now entering the snowiest part of Big Bear Valley. Again, this might not necessarily be the snowiest area in all of Big Bear because we do have Upper Moon Ridge, which is a neighborhood, and it's right next to, to, to Bear Mountain, and it, it goes up a few hundred feet higher in elevation, and they get absolutely hammered. I mean, absolutely hammered. 
but when it comes to the to the valley floor, this is it, you guys. We are entering the snowiest part. Snow, 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 snow. How is everyone doing on this beautiful day? I mean, look at how, look at the sky. Look at how beautiful everything is today. This is just amazing. Temperature dropped back down to 47. It's, it's funny. We started at 46, jumped up to 50 immediately. Now we're back down to 47 in less than 11 minutes. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Pretty neat, man. You guys see all this wet, all these wet spots in the road right here? Of course, because it's almost 50 degrees. It's not icy, it's not slippery, but what doesn't evaporate during the daytime, this is gonna to turn to ice at nighttime, you guys. So you need to be really cautious of that. Especially this area right here, my goodness. We get people who come up here weeks after a good snowfall, and they just are not thinking about any chance of, uh, of black ice or anything like that. But this is what what causes lots of problems up here is people do not think about that. And uh, they'll say to themselves, well, it hasn't snowed in weeks up there. I'm going to be totally fine. This stuff right here, this is going to freeze and it's going to turn into an ice skating rink. So you need to be extra cautious. Extra cautious, man. And look at, look at this fog in the little Arctic Circle. Wow, that is so cool. You know what, we're gonna drive into that a little bit. I think that'll be kind of fun, and then we'll turn around, but I think that'll be kind of fun. Wow, that is so neat. We're gonna have to drive a little bit, but that's okay. That is totally okay. try. It's incredible how much snow has melted here on the little Arctic Circle. Typically, once you leave Big Bear, as soon as you hit this little Arctic Circle area, the temperatures usually jump up quite a bit. And so that's why you'll get a lot of this area where the snow is gone. But yeah, this is, this is gorgeous. Look at that. hit much uh, much of that fog it's a little bit too far out there so we're just gonna turn around right here it's beautiful though guys yeah let's uh let's turn around let's turn around every now and then I drive the little like a circle and the fog is rolling around Turn around. Oh, it's beautiful down there. I don't know if you guys just saw this steel railing here about a hundred yards back. Someone someone's life was saved big time. Someone crashed into it hard.
But yeah, shocking. There's hardly any snow left on this little Arctic Circle, guys. Look at this. This is incredible. Unbelievable. Sorry about that little detour. I thought we were gonna be able to drive into that fog, but it's just hanging off the road. That's gorgeous. I just want to see see that view real quick. My goodness, that's great. Hang on. There's Big Bear. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Wow. It's just something else, man. Off down there. That's Snow Valley out there. That peak that you can see right above the clouds right there. Looks like Everest poking out. Oh, it's so lovely out here. Great, man. So that sign right there, we're gonna follow that sign right now. We're gonna take Highway 38 where we need to go. Take it around the lake. It's gonna be be beautiful, man. It's gonna be beautiful. get a lot of traffic coming into town right here I, I promise you take take a left here just take the left here and you'll be happy 
because everyone and their mom and their dog are gonna take this straight route right here on Highway 18, AKA Big Bear Boulevard now. But you don't wanna do that. Assume there's a load of traffic. Just make your left here. This just takes you, it just hugs the lake all the way around. It's not that far out of the way. And boom, look at how blue. Oh boy, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. How lucky am I to live here? I mean, seriously, how lucky am I to live here? Thank you to my higher power for allowing me to be here because this is this is wonderful. Because we didn't see any snow out of this, just some snow melting because of the rain. Of course, yesterday I did record snow. I was at the ski resort and it did snow. It was just for a, a few minutes. But for the most part, it was just rain. That's why we're not going to go and do the whole Baldwin Lake side and hit up Irwin or Sugarloaf or anything like that. We're going to stay to the Big Bear Lake side of things. Oh. I mean, seriously, look at that. over here. Here is one of our many harbors. in this whole town because of its location right on the corner. You get some beautiful views. It's just amazing. Look at how clear everything is. And 
now the reason why you're seeing so much snow on the left side here is because this particular area doesn't get a lot of direct sunlight. It is definitely shaded very well, so you're not going to get a whole heap load of, uh, of sun directly shining down on these hillsides right over here. But it makes for a great, beautiful area. I'll tell you what. And we're coming up to some place that is not on Expedia or anything like that. It's called the Outpost Big Bear. You have to go to the Outpost Big Bear's website. I believe it's outpostbigbear.com to book your stay here. I've checked it out, you guys. It looks amazing. The reason I've never stayed there is because I always find my rooms on Expedia because I'm trying to save or earn points. So we're coming up to the outpost right here. It's it's in the quiet part of our valley. I, you know, I, I, I think it'd be very, very romantic for me to bring my wife here. It looks so cute and it looks like they've done such a great job and it's right on, right on Grout Creek Tributary. Talk to the owners, they seem amazing. They're, you know, quite the professionals in their own regard and seem like really, really neat folks. But again, I'd, I'd never really heard much about them because I'm always booking my rooms up here on Expedia to earn points. And here's Grout Creek Tributary. It's flowing a little bit. Nothing special, but it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And now we're in downtown Fonskin. But yeah, guys, again, if, if you want to get away from all the hustle and bustle of the tourism and the rushing around and this and that, Outpost Big Bear for sure. As I said, I've done a lot of research on it. My wife and I are, are going to be staying there and they're not priced crazy either. Like I think weekdays, it's somewhere near like 150 bucks, something like that per night. As I said, it's right on Grout Creek Tributary. It's just like they could get away with charging so much more. So I'm really happy that, once again, that's a sign for me that they care about the good experience, not, not just 100% about the bottom line. These are the people we try to support, you guys. So again, go to outpostbigbear.com and book your room through there. And you'll be stoked. Rachel and I are gonna be booking a room in the next couple weeks. Um, I'm, I'm trying to uh, put away like 20 bucks every couple days to be able to stay there for two nights. And once I can come up with about three bills, then we are going to do that because I really want you guys to see it. And I want a place like this, again, who care about you guys, to succeed more. Not that I have a huge impact, but you know, even if one person from this channel goes and stays there, then you know what, I feel like I've done what I should do. I've done the right thing. Very important to point out again, none of these places give me anything, you guys. I know that sounds like such BS and and like, why, why would I do that? Why would I waste my time to promote other people and not get anything in return? Again, it's because I care about you guys. And without you guys coming up here and enjoying yourselves, I don't get to live here. I have to move back down the mountain. Don't want that under any circumstance. I will do whatever it takes to stay up here. And if I can give you guys the best experience humanly possible for this area, then you guys will keep on coming up here and keep on spending money. That's what we need. But most importantly, we need you to have a good time while you're doing it. I'm not associated with our city at all. Nothing, no city council stuff. Um, I'm not on the board of anything. I do this because, once again, I realize how lucky I am to live here in such an absolutely beautiful place. And straight ahead, that big mountain poking out the top there, that's San Gorgonio, you guys. That's the highest peak in Southern California. I believe it's 11,555 feet. And a little fun fact about San Gorgonio is when you're on the top of Mount Whitney or the top of San Gorgonio, you can see one another. You can see Mount Whitney from the top of San, uh, San Gorgonio, which I think as the crow flies, it's just under 200 miles. So that being said, that's the furthest vantage point in the whole United States, you guys. That's the furthest you can see. And it happens to be in part of this mountain range. 
How cool is that? This part of Fonskin, I love a lot, especially these homes right down here on the lake. I'm telling you guys, someday, someday, it's gonna happen for me and my wife. It's going to. I work so hard and put in so many hours, it's going to happen. So, I told you guys we were gonna go by the, uh, um, the whatchamacallit, the, the, the nice park down here, the trailer park down here. This is North Shore Lane. This is where the observatory is, where the, the uh, trailer park, where Serrano Campground, which is our most famous campground up here. It's all down this street right here. And this street ends up going back to, to, to Big Bear Boulevard. But to the left here, this whole area, this whole thing is all a big campground. And if you guys like, you know, astronomy and stuff like that and like like the sun like all the stars like the universe the planets everything like that then uh i have a video of this place i got a private tour of the solar observatory right here so you can check it out on the channel how cool is that it's an unbelievably technologically advanced place it is fantastic check out that the, uh, that video and I think you guys will be stoked again Serrano campground this whole entire area right here this whole thing and up here on the right is one of our well-known trailer parks. Really great location. Let's see here. I think this is the entrance maybe right here. Yep, it's a private gated, gated community. Not getting the best view of it, but it's right on the lake. I could live in one of those double wides for sure. But yeah, once again, we're going back to look at the campground over here. This whole area, as I said. And I believe one of the entrances is coming up here on the left-hand side. So we're just gonna maybe, unless we passed it. No, I don't think we passed it yet. Here's some more of the trailer park. Anyway, this is the Serrano campground area. It looks like it's closed. No parking, you'll be towed away, but you go right through there to get to the Serrano campground. And again, all of this is on North Shore Lane. We've got some beautiful hiking trails through here that go right along the lakeside. It's a really good spot. Spend some time with the family. Take a load off. Exhale a whole bunch. Try not to think about work or all your stresses down the mountain. Just think about the good time and think about how lucky we are to actually be alive and living in, on, this, on this rock in the middle of the universe it's just crazy to think about. If you like what I do, hit that like and subscribe. Help me out. I'd appreciate it. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Highway 38, a.k.a. the North Shore, you guys.
right, let's get some nice views. We're gonna pull over and let this truck go by just so we can enjoy these views for a moment. Momentito. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got no one behind us now, so we're just gonna troll along here. Oh yeah, guys. We got a car speeding up on us. So we're gonna pull over here, let them pass. Slow down, Cadillac, slow down. That's where I was skiing yesterday, straight ahead. From the top to the bottom. Yes, I need to detail this car desperately. All right, guys, we're at Stanfield Cutoff. This is the very end of Big Bear Lake. So we're going to be driving along the, the lake's end. Straight ahead, you can see some of Bear Mountain, some of their scarier runs up there, like Geronimo and, and hell no, I'm not going up there run. Gerona, no, not gonna do it. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm not that funny, I know. And then over here, oh boy, it's so pretty you guys, woo! There's hardly anyone up here, this is beautiful. Again, I love having you guys up here. It's just nice once in a while when it's really quiet up here, no traffic. I love it. I love it. But it does scare me because then you guys aren't up here enjoying yourselves and uh, contributing to the town's bottom line. Very, very, very importante. Muy importante. Hoy, vámonos. Okay, back on Big Bear Boulevard. Once we make this little left curve right here, guys, one of the most incredible views in the whole town, it's just boom, there's Snow Summit. Just opens right up right there. Oh, gosh, I love it. We're gonna hang it right here and get a much better straight up view of Snow Summit from a little bit of a distance. This left corner, the view is just very special. There's the lake over there. But yeah, this is, uh, look at that. Let's zoom in on Snow Summit right there. Zoom back out and then go to the left and that's Bear Mountain right there. It's another one of our amazing ski resorts. That's my favorite one right here, Bear Mountain. It's where I learned how to ski. In 1990, when I was 10, I took my first lesson. Clearly, those of you who watch me ski are wondering, uh, am I lying about taking a lesson because it doesn't look like I've ever taken a lesson. <laughs> I have, I promise, and I used to be a lot better. No joke, I really did. I used to have a lot more courage, I think is more appropriate. Not much, much better, but much more courage. So I would go straight down the mountain and go super fast. But boy, 
boy, oh boy, that is so pretty, guys. Wow. Wowzes. And this parking lot has been here for a couple seasons now. It's another huge satellite parking lot for you guys to, to park when the resorts are overflowing. We have so many of these type of lots here, guys. So many. And we're going to take Fox Farm back into the depths of Lower Moon Ridge and then come back around and we're going to be done. Back to Big Bear Boulevard. Once again, we're going straight here. We're on Fox Farm Road and we're gonna stay on Fox Farm Road. And remember, a lot of these streets, you guys, change names. So if you keep on driving on it, a lot of our streets do, do end up changing names. Let's see here. So give give me a moment. Let's see. Let me let me stop it so we're not waiting at the light forever. All right. Alright guys, this is where Fox Farm Road is going to change to a different street name as soon as we make this little curve around the right. And Fox Farm's a beautiful neighborhood, you guys. Absolutely beautiful neighborhood. But now it's Fox Farm Road turns into McAllister. I know it's kind of dumb, but how I, I remember McAllister is from the movie Home Alone. That was their last name, the McAllisters. I know. I need to grow up a little bit. I know. And I always like to point out my two favorite houses on this road. I don't know if it's the same builder or what, but right there, just absolutely beautiful. And then right next door, looks like a very similar house. And I'm pretty certain that they are Airbnb properties, you guys. So there you go. Now McAllister turns into Cougar. So it went from Fox Farm to McAllister to Cougar. Now we're on Cougar. Now we be on Cougar. 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 Cougar.
don't forget guys we do have an Airbnb through our channel that um, a lot of you not a lot of you but a, a few of you have stayed at really 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 enjoy killer location it's in Middle Moon Ridge right next to Bear Mountain and uh, it's a part of town that sees an awful lot of snow and it's just a wonderful wonderful little place all the information to contact the owner a good friend of the channel is in the description of the video and once again if you mention you're a friend of the channel he will give you a nice discount I assure you that but again great location right next to Bear Mountain a big big snowy area and right here is coming up to Moon Ridge Road We're at the beginning of the two roundabouts right here. If you head that way, you're going to Bear Mountain. But yeah, thanks for cruising today, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. I've had fun doing, doing all these live feeds with you guys as well. Um, hit that like and subscribe button. Help me out. I'd appreciate it. I, I hate to sound annoying just like every, every other YouTube channel, but it really is helpful. So thank you guys again for everything. And uh, have a great rest of your February 27th. And I'll see you guys in a few days because we do have a good-sized snowstorm coming through. The night of March 1st. Woo! I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Until next time, stay safe out there. I love y'all.